gonna try to make this a short session. Um, I wanna explain how we're setting it up. We're setting it up different. The last time we filmed was a couple days ago. Um, it's been pretty cold. Um, it's freezing, it's way colder than I thought it was gonna be today. Um, I guess there's no bad weather, just bad clothing choices, and I'd, I've done that today. I didn't want wear as much as I'd like to, so we're gonna go short. You can see she's kinda cold already. Um, but one of the things that I, I'm doing different compared to the last one is the last one I found myself in a little bit of a pickle. <clears throat> Tried, I, I took her out, I went down to the shop, I worked on some stuff in our shop, I turned on a shop vac, she got spooky at the sound of the shop vac, I started a four-wheeler that got her real spooky, created a ton of issues with heel work. She locked up on me for the first time. Um, wasn't necessarily heel work that was the issue, it was the stuff that preceded it. So we are going to do it differently. I told the guys, get your stuff, come up to the house, I'm gonna take her out of the kennel, I took her out in the backyard, I let her do her business so she doesn't have to go to the bathroom. And then I said, we're coming out. She had a lot of energy this morning. She needs to get something out of her from a, in a positive way with a, from an energy level standpoint. She's, she's whining, she's fussing, she's antsy. So take her outside, let her get some stuff done. One of the things I wanna show you though is I literally took her out of the kennel, grabbed her lead. Now I'm still working with her on a flat collar here. Um, when I say a flat collar, just this little nylon collar. I'm gonna set her down so that I don't have to turn into a game of catch the dog. Um, and you can see she's a little nervous right now anyway. Um, partially I think because you guys are here with the cameras and that, that has created some issues. I wanna show you one of the things that, we're, that I started doing last night with her. Um, she does not, I don't think even realize that she's on a lead. So it's not like, because we've done it so few times, it's not like she's gonna bolt and, and try to like pull out. But you see right now she's bracing against it. So this is like this dog would probably be a good dog to do tie out with. If you watch our, any of our um, puppy videos, we tie them out, put a stake in the ground, let them figure out how to give the pressure to the neck and settle in. It's too cold to do that. And so I haven't done it with her. It would be beneficial for her. But one of the things that I want to show you is this idea of putting the lead on and off. And so I went and got the adjustable leader which is the combination um, collar and leash set. I use the flat collar because I don't want pressure on the puppy right now. There's no need for it. She's just trying to figure out where the position of heel is. But what I like, what, the reason I'm using this collar is because I can loosen it up and make it a lot bigger. But what I want her to get an understanding of is things are gonna go up and over your ears. And so we're gonna practice this, putting leashes on and off the dog. I do not like dogs that throw their heads out of the lead when you, and when you go to put the lead on them, they fight you and dodge you. I want dogs to sit there and put their chin up and accept the idea that you're putting this on them. So we're gonna start that right now with her way before we ever even get to the point where she needs it. But so I'm gonna tighten it up just a little bit so that I want her to feel the friction on her ears. This is just a drill that you guys can, that I, I'm gonna do with her and get her used to it so that when we do, when she starts to understand what the lead really means and what heel work is and going for walks and all that, I don't want her to develop the habit of pulling the head out or dodging the head to get the lead put on. I want her to look at me and not away. And I want her to start accepting the idea of, yeah, good, good. That process, real simple, something you can do. You can do it as a session by itself. You can also do it, you should do it every time you put the dog on the lead, but that'll be when we get to that collar. So now I can tell by her body language, her hesitation in today's session. So I'm gonna ease into this and I'm not gonna talk anymore. I'm gonna let you, I'm not going anywhere guys. So I don't want you really to move at all. I want you to just stay there. I'm gonna go very short distances because all I want is that little tail that's clamped down to come out of there. Come on, come on, good. And I wouldn't mind seeing a little bit of wagging. Nope, he, she wants to go, today she wants to go way out in front of me, so I'll turn, come on. Now she tries to hold back, nope, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, come on, come on, good. Okay, good girl, there. Let a little bit of tail wag, good, good. This way, come on, come on, good. Now, it's always going back to you guys. It's always going back towards the house where she's locking up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good, good. So I'm gonna get three feet, three steps out of her. Good. And tell her how good she is. Good, all right, come here, come on, come on. Good, come on, yeah, it's it, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, 
Come on. Good. Just move those feet. Good. Come on. Come on. There. Come on. Come here. Come on. Good. That's it. Good. I don't care if I got to take it three steps at a time. Come on. Come on. Makina. Come on. Good. Very good. Good. Come on. Come here. Come on. Makina. Come on. Good. There's a little bump and she moves. Good. Now we'll go the way she does good with. Come on. Good. You guys just stay right there. Good girl. Oh, you go too fast. You got to come this way. Come on. Good. There you go. Good girl. So when she gets out too far in front of me, I am going to stop and turn around. Now she gets sticky. Doesn't want to come back. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good. Good. Come on. Good. Good. Come on. Come on. Good. There you go. Come on. Good. Let's go. Good girl. Good girl. There's a good dog. Come on. Come on. Good. Good. Nope. Don't get in there. Come on. Good. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's it. That's it. That's it. Come on. Good girl. There. I'll go the way you want. Come on. Come on. Good. Here. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. There she gets sticky. Come on. Come on. There. Come past that. It's like that invisible line right now that she doesn't want to go back this way on. Good. So we'll just go real short. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's a good girl. Come on. That's a good girl. Here. 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 Come on. Good. I'm going to start way up here. That's a good girl. She doesn't want to go through this area for whatever reason. So let's start back here. Good. 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 That's it. All right. Come on. There you go. Come on. Good. Good. Come here. Come on. Come here. Come on. Come on. Here. Come on. Makina. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here. Good. Come on. Come on. Good. Good girl. Good girl. All right. Let's go this way. Good. Good. No, you're going too fast. You're going too fast. Come on. Good. Good. Come on. Come on. Good. No. Good. Good. Good girl. There's a nice turn. Good. Come on. Good. There's a great turn. Good. Another good turn. Good girl. Come on. No, don't lock up the hair. Come on. There's no reason to lock up. That's a good dog. Come on. Come on. Good. Come on. Come on. There's a good girl. Good girl. Good. Now I want to stop before she stops because I feel like if I kept going, she's going to lock up. I got about five yards there with her going the right direction. Good. Come on. Come on. Good. Come on. Good. Good. Let's go this way. Good. Let's go this way. Come on. Good. Good. Very good. Good. There. Getting her feet freed up a little bit. Good girl. Come on. Good. Good. Now sit. Now sit. Now sit. And let's put a period at the end of that sentence. Good. Beautiful. Good girl. Heel. Come on. Good. Come on. Good. Come on. Good. Come on. There's a sticky spot. Come on. 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 Work through it. Work through it. Come on. Good. Good girl. That's it. Very good. All right. Come on. Good. Come on. Good. Here. Here. Good. That's it. Come on. Good. Good. Come on. Just changing directions. That's all I'm doing. Get her moving with me. Change directions. Get her to move with you. That's it. As soon as we go this way. Good. There. And I don't even care. I'm telling her how good she is because I'm telling her she's in good position. She wasn't in the best position there. Come on. Good. Come on. Because she, she wasn't. She's ducking behind me, but at least her feet are moving. 
Come on. So I'm going to tell her she's good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't hang up. Come on. Come on. One thing about her right now, come on. Good. Is she's really being forced to think. And her tail's not tucked and cowered. It's kind of out. That's a confident, a little bit more confidence. But not so much excitement that she's not getting something out. She's getting something out of this session for sure. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Here. Come on. Good. Nope. Come on. 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 And see how she's going behind me. It's not the best position, but I'll take it because at least she's moving. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's not locking up. Good. Come on. Come on. There we're locking up. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. We're not going to do that. Come on. Good. Good. There's good girl. Come on. Right here. Just give me something good. No, no. Good. Really having a hard time in there. Come on. Come on. Good. 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 Proximity to the cameras, I think, is what it is. Good. Good. She don't like working in front of you guys. Good girl. And that's okay. So we'll just move over here and figure out how to get her confident out here. There. Loosening up there, shaking a little. That's a good girl. A little higher pace here, a little quicker pace. Good. Come on. Look at the tail difference. Nope, nope, nope. This way. Come on. Good. 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 No, right there's a sticking point. So I'll say, okay, I'll give in to you. We'll turn. Good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good. Good. And now I end it there. Good. Before she stops on me. Good. <laughs> And that's it. I'm done. It's freezing out here. It's short enough. There's a lesson learned for me. You know, it's a little icier here than there. I don't know if that's the difference. I think it's the, I think it's being close to the cameras. I think she's real cautious of that. She's a cautious dog. She's a pretty, she's sensitive in that way. She can be a little pistol at times, but she's real sensitive to a, a lot of pressure. That's right down my alley. I like a dog like that myself. So, but you have to be careful. You can't be a bully. You can't push her through some of these things, but you can't be a weakling either. You can't let her chickenness change you to be coddling. It's, there's gonna be a point where I go, I'll take, I'll understand your, your softness to a degree and I'll approach you a certain way, but I'm not gonna let you just shut, up, shut down and quit. So at times I'm gonna firm up. At times I'm going to be, I, I guess the way to do it would be, I, the way to describe it would be compromising. I'll compromise with her. I won't make you do it right here, but I'm going to make you do it over there. And she says, I'm willing to do it over there. Okay, so let's go do it over there. So let's get really good over there and then make, instead of saying, now go over here and do it, because she probably won't. I'm going to say, okay, we're really good there. Let's get good here. And it's probably not as good halfway. So we'll work on it there. And then I'll, she'll get really good at it there. Then I'll take another step closer and another, until I can get her to do it everywhere with confidence. But you gotta remember, this is the fourth time we've put her on a lead and healed her. So in between there, my wife has taken her for a couple walks with the kids and I don't know what has happened there. So I probably am gonna you know, delicately let her know, let's not take her on the lead anymore for a while. Um, if you're going to go for a walk and you need to have that control, just leave her in the kennel and I'll take her and do stuff with her. So I, I'm not saying that's the reason, but I don't know that it's helping either. So that's something that, um, it's, it's a really good example of the simplest things. Take little steps, just little bite, little bite, little bite. How do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? The big picture of training is the elephant. We're going to do one little bite at a time. And so sometimes we need to break our sessions into micro sessions. And that's what we had to do today. So we built off of our last one, knowing that we had a few things to look out for. Um, some of the things today went really well. Some of the things today were, you know, have plenty of room for improvement, but I, I could say that at the end of every session with every dog. So that's a good one. We'll move on from that. <laughs>